Well, this seems a little bit crazy. We've just finished a video and I've jumped straight in the truck to actually start the next video and get on with it. So welcome back to the channel and a new video. You can see by the thumbnail, Ford Focus 60 Reg Diesel, and it is another seizure. I'm not sure what it was seized for yet. I'm gonna know more once I collect it, but I'm not even gonna waffle on too much. Let's get there and actually get this one picked up. It's not, it's not mega, it's quite old, isn't it? But oh, we just put a cheeky little bid on it and I thought it was really cheap because we actually won it for the bid. So let's see how we get on. So as usual, when we buy any car, quick car vertical check just to make sure there's no finance on it or it's reported stolen especially these custom seizure ones now i'm not going to get into it too much but i'll tell you a little bit more at the end of the video about one that a friend of mine has purchased and the hassle that he's had with it so mileage okay theft okay accidents okay finance okay i thought it'd be all clear it is a kind of an old car now and it was advertised as with a v5 so and just no key with it so first of the first 2010 manufactured uh sorry registered 10th 2010 that's why it's on a 60 plate first mot there 2013 in fact let's skip past the mot history Stolen vehicle check. This check was performed in all of these countries. United Kingdom, Czech Republic, Romania, Sweden, just to name a few. We got the mileage graph there and most of that will be the MOT history. But other parts of it are inputs from dealerships, garages, etc, etc. Or other checks that people have done and entered the mileage. And 108,000, so quite high, but... 1.6 diesel still very desirable quite a lot of people do say rob you always mention that this check was performed in all of these countries united kingdom usa france poland canada just to name a few why is that relevant and that is relevant because you will be shocked at the amount of cars that are imported from other countries with a nasty history You've got all your specs and equipment right down there at the bottom. And of course, your nine helpful tips and tricks of things to check when you're purchasing your vehicle. And here is a quick example of one that me and Chris was actually bidding on last week down at Copart. You can see the date there. At the last minute, we actually lost our bottle and pulled out. And it's a Porsche 911. Mileage okay, theft okay, accidents. And of course, where that car did go for auction, or if it was sold at a dealership, right down the bottom of these checks, you can see where this one was put through Copart, it has actually got all of the pictures there of the vehicle. And it was advertised as basically badly repaired. And the more we looked into the pictures of it, Chris just said, you know what? Let's not risk it. Anyway, I want to thank Car Vertical once again for the continued support on the channel. Guys, for your must-do check, use the link in the description or the code SR10 from any browser to get a discount off of your check. Let's go down the road and say it's a bit of a pig, but it was like this was just over 300 quid. It was, have, wasn't it? Yeah. So yeah. Um, it's not a no, it's got... yeah. Yeah, and it's not a customs, it is a DVLA. Right. So, but I, I, don't, I don't think it would have been took for no tax, Chris, because it's £30 a year. Yeah, so, unless, look, someone's had a go at that, did not they? And unless all the bits are peanuts, they're marks, yeah. In, in colour. In colour. I'm, I'm, honestly, I didn't notice that bonnet, that's the truth. I did no. not notice it. I thought it was popped, but it ain't. It's actually locked, and you ain't even seen the worst of it yet. What's that? Come round here. You ready? Yeah. Oh, it's a bit doggy, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you can't win them all, can you? No. And, oh, oh, you... I'll be honest, it's still, it's a 1600 diesel, it's done 116,000. What's that money? Yeah, it's a 20p. 20p. It's not gonna. Yeah, I mean, it, it might clean up all right. It's got a roof rack on it. I'll have a look in the back. Was it worse um, or better? Yeah, I'll just in a hole. 
A hole? Yeah. Oh, oh God. And, got half uh, the beach in it. Yeah, I'm not... But, mm. I mean, that black one's a lot worse than this. It is... Mind you, that black one had done 19,000 miles. And, and didn't have bodywork damage, nah, did it? Even the back bumper's all scratched. Yeah, still got power in the battery. Look at that. Oh. But you know the worst bit? And I did know that because it was in the listing. It's got no keys. Oh, yeah. well, so, I don't think we're going to earn a lot out of this one somehow, Rob. No, oh, no. But there but, you go. You, you, um, you can't um, win them all, can you? No, but I mean... We're not in the habit of buying stuff that we're not going to earn no money on, but it was only 300, yeah, 312 quid, right. I think. That's right. And I've already been on the phone to Aidan, and he said, I said, we don't want to spend a load of money on it, like getting him, because he comes down from Seven Sisters. Yeah. So what he said is, where is the car? I said, on the back of my truck. He said, do you want to meet me at Blue Water, and I'll just do you a... Do the key a bit cheaper. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's worth doing, isn't it? So I thought instead of, like, that's today as well, this evening after he's finished what right. he's doing. Yeah. It is what it is, mate. Well, let's it? get a key and go from there and see that it, if it runs and drives okay. But obviously if it's got any mechanical faults, we're going to have to have a serious work out. Yeah. We? But to be honest, get the key done for and go from there, I think. Yeah, through auction, or I could probably ring Mark up and sell that to him now what it owes us. But it would yeah. be nice to have a key for it. I think get a key and then go from there, don't you? Yeah. Um, 1.6 diesel, £30 a year road tax. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, like you say, that other one was low mileage, but you could have sold it 25 times. Yeah, you? I could have, yeah. So, all the tyres are nice on it. At least it's got something going for it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. We're pull the plug and get a key done then? I think so, yeah. It definitely hasn't got a value sitting there without a key, has it? No, no. Right, let's head to Blue Water then and meet Aidan. Quite a late night for me, but when I met Aidan, quite a lot of you would have seen on Instagram, met him at the Knockcuts Garden Centre. Yeah. He picked the lock in about 30 seconds and said these are probably one of the easiest keys to programme. Right. It's actually an aftermarket key, but it look, yep, looks yep. genuine, Good. doesn't it? And... I'm afraid it hasn't made it look any better inside that he's cut a key for it. Well, starts and it's got a good battery. And actually sounds really nice. It does, doesn't it? Got much diesel in it. It hasn't, but I'll tell you what I've done. Once he did cut a key for it, I was only at knock cuts in Maidstone. Once he started it up, the battery was a bit low, we had to jump it. I left it running and drove oh, home. Right, I see. And that just give it a bit of a charge, yeah. but. Well, it's held to charge, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, seems to run all right. I'll be honest, I haven't checked the uh, I haven't checked the gearbox or anything in it. Well, it's only got one warning light on as well. Fuel. Yeah, it's got a good, good, all right. good clutch. Well, decision time, I suppose, isn't it? What yeah. do we do with it? Yeah, what do you reckon? I think it's you too should... good to scrap, isn't well, it? Well, really? I think what you're going to have to do is go and see if Mark at Kent Auto Salvage has got any panels that colour because it's not worth getting into repairing panels and putting it in the paint shop, I don't think. No, definitely not. But if not. he's got doors around there, if he's got a bonnet, even a wing, yeah, they're really bolt on, aren't they? Mm. It'll be... Um, because the, both doors the other side are... Battered. Are, yeah, we couldn't they? really see them from when it was around there, but I did have a quick flick through last night online. There is loads of bits this colour online. Oh, it's a very common colour, isn't and I, it? I think it, they've still got quite a following. These. But, but we don't want to be going out all no. right over the country chasing bits. Definitely not. For a 12-year-old focus. Well, if we can get a bonnet and a pair of doors and a wing for it, I yeah, think... Yeah, it'll it, pull it together, It will it? pull it together. And, and a bit of a clean-up inside. Yeah, definitely. I did have a little pick at some of it, Chris, and I think it is it is actually emulsion because it? look. Oh yeah. It's coming off. So it will. So it will actually clean up quite nice, I think. Yeah. I think I think that's the plan of attack really, don't you? Yeah. Go and see what he's got. Yeah, I'll unload it first, just make sure it drives alright up and down the yard and then I'll head round there and see what he's got, mate. Yeah. But yeah, I'm not gonna be um 
not enthusiastic about it. I'm sure it'll be all right. I'll just see it's got locking wheel nuts on it. Hopefully there's a key in there somewhere. Let's get round Marks and have a look. Mark said he's got plenty of these down here. He said, Rob, I don't know if I've got one that colour. And I can see one that colour, but that's actually a Fiesta, isn't it? Might be out of luck here. If he's got doors for that car and a bonnet, that'd be a nice, easy little fit. That don't sound very happy, does it? Yeah, look, funny that was the right colour. Pair of doors on there. Looks like we're out of luck. It's not over yet. There's one. It's going to be our luck, isn't it? Yes. Is that the same colour? I think that is the same colour, isn't it? I'm going to need to take a picture, but it looks like there's... I mean, it's... Yeah, they'd be all right. That is the same... Yeah, same model. Two doors, no bonnet. Let's take a picture of this or get the paint code and go and check this is the same. Guys, I know we are very fortunate to know Mark down here. So what I have, I am going to do, so DA3 is our paint code. Even though there might be some differences in it, what I'm going to do, I've checked this one as well. That's DA3. I'm actually going to hang one of the doors on the car and have a look at the differences in it because we don't there's no point doing it if it's going to look miles out but if those doors actually look all right on that car i've had a deal with him very cheap he said i can have the pair of those doors also grab a boot carpet out of one and any other little bits and pieces we need for the inside of our car so i'm going to get probably the back door because that's the lightest one get that removed chuck it on our car and see what it looks like and that is honestly one of the reasons why I think we're very very lucky to actually know the guys down here because you could order these online or just come down here and buy them once you've left here with them there's no damage on them there's nothing wrong with them they're not really going to want you to return them but as you can see exactly the same paint code completely different color that would look well, I think you'd all agree. I've put it there so you can see it against the quarter panel. It's absolutely miles out. And I know some of you are probably thinking, it's the shade you're standing in. And like when I'm leaning over now and shading it, it looks the same. But honestly, guys, it's miles out. I wasn't worried about the, the seal that's on the door there because I was changing both this side and I would have just took the plastic seals off of the doors on the driver's side here and fitted them to this car. But... I can't put that door on there. It will just, putting both of those doors on there, it look miles away. So, bit of luck there that we bought the car in and actually tried. Never mind. Sitting over at A2 Tires, just doing a tire for me, for a car. And I, the more I keep thinking about that focus, I think what I'm gonna do is, it, I'm gonna go back to the yard and have a chat with Chris about it, but I think I'm not going to be disheartened about it at all because you've got to be in it to win it and it can't always be glory, can it? I'm thinking, rather than putting the time and money into it, the amount of time it would take 
I think we'd be at a loss. So what I might do is actually sell it at a loss now without putting the time in, if that makes sense. But I'm sure it'll make more sense once I speak to Chris. He explained things a lot better than me and I reckon he'll be pretty much on the on the same road as me of what I'm thinking. But let's get this tire done, head back and see what he says. So definitely not something we can get in the habit of making and this is not the end of the video, so don't go anywhere. We, I actually slept on it. We've had a bit of a chat about it this morning and we are gonna lose money on that car. But we say we're gonna lose money. You see how many times I go around Mark's, we got a good relationship Kent Auto with Kent Auto Salvage. And I've actually said to Mark, like, would you want this car? And he said, I'll have it off you. What I said, we'd like to get the maximum we can. This is how much it owes us. But of course, we do want to leave enough in it for him because if I went round there now and said, right, Mark, I need, uh, I need all these little bits at the inside of a car, he'd just say, yeah, take them, wouldn't he? Yeah, he, he, wouldn't, after us. he wouldn't even charge us for it. So that's kind of got to work both ways, but we don't want to get into the habit of it. So what we've actually decided to do is scrap that car, but we're going to take it round there now. And he did, he did say, if he's not too busy, they'll chuck it on the depollution rack. And then I'll just briefly explain what he's going to do to the car. And then I guess we're crunching numbers, but not really a lot to go. Or shall I just do that bit now? Well, we're going to blow a couple of hundred quid out of it. We you? are going to blow probably like 200. But better to blow it now than, than spend, spend loads of time on, on it. it. I'll say it is the next day and I've been really busy all day doing something else. And also Chris has been really busy doing something else as well. So it hasn't taken up any more time than it actually took while I've been videoing it. So... Let's jump in it and drive it round there, I suppose. That's, that's all it. we can do, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. And just really, oh, I'm actually going to say this, and it's probably not saying I've really done before, but I was so desperate to buy another car from that custom seizure because the other one was brilliant. Everyone mm. loved it. It was such a success. And I was like, bid, bid, bid. So, yeah, we put a bid in on it and we won it. But... Look, you can't be disheartened about it. I'm certainly not disheartened about it. I know you're not either. And it will pay it will pay dividends to let Mark have it anyway because when we pop round there and get any of our little bits, of course, he looks after us. So let's get it round there. So it has met its fate, guys. First things first when we got here, he said he has to remove the battery, remove all of the lids, brake fluid, water, washer fluid, etc., etc. Also, Mark's wife just done us certificate of destruction which actually states that car has now been it is going for recycling and it could never go back on the road once this is done that is it it's finished there's no coming back from this so if anyone's local and you want to scrap your car of course they'll always do this and you're completely covered by everything once you've got this this is a deep pollution bay i've got my boots on don't worry and they got the proper rack there, what it goes on. You gotta trust trust yourself with that forklift, haven't you? I'll let him turn that forklift off. So basically, I'm not gonna take up much of his time here because Andy, that actually does the deep polluting, is out at the moment collecting a car. But Damien said he'll just quickly explain to me roughly what will be done to this car now it is on here. So catalytic... Yeah, first catalytic converter, we either taking it, cutting it off, or unbolting it, uh, and draining all of the fluids. Once the fluid's all drained, we can take the car down the yard. And, and put, it, put it out there for the process of recycling. And people will be in, they'll be buying the wheels. He's also got that drill there, and that drill up through the tank, um, the tank just there, and there's the drill. That'll take any diesel that's inside it. And of course, he's, he's probably, are you getting started ready for Andy? So yeah, he's, uh, he's gonna take the under tray off and actually let all the fluid start draining in the appropriate funnels you see this arm pulls right round and then water goes in one and and one for the gearbox oil, one for the, the 
engine oil. Oh, right, engine oil, gearbox oil, and they'll have them for all different fluids as well and the drills there. Oh, antifreeze, coolant. You can actually see it all written on there, waste oil, petrol, and of course, diesel. So, Damien, thank you for that. And the locking walnut key is in the glove box for it. Thank you. Oh, what, guys, I was going to head back to the yard, but I am actually standing here waiting for Chris to pick me up. So, good opportunity to just end the video there. That is going to be the end of today's video. I know I'm probably going to get quite a hard time in the comments by a lot of you, but... But it was a couple of hundred pounds, and like I said, it helps Mark out, and he always helps us out. So how can you complain about that? Sorry, I'm spinning around, just stay still. So yeah, that's the end of the video. If you haven't already, follow us on Instagram at Selvage Rebuilds. You can follow Chris on his Instagram, that's Selvage Rebuilds Chris. Like, subscribe, and of course, please do share on all your social networking sites, and we'll see you very soon in the next one.